Welcome back to Show Down Under. I'm Doug. It's Monday morning. We'll be running late today. We're going to shave instead of a soap here. We're going to highlight a, another vintage Gillette I have. Excuse me, we'll just get rid of some fingerprints. Okay, let's just jump straight into it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful case. Gillette, they were just all over it in those early days. Let's have a look inside. And slowly she opens, let's push down that a bit. So it's one of these rare pocket edition Gillettes that everything's still nice inside. Easy to find these razors, but hard to find them with the lining in really nice condition. So I'm gonna shave with that today. Let me take it out. Just give you a quick better look before I put the blade in. So there it is. Very nice condition. The interesting thing with this one, let me just do this so, there is no made in, it's just the Gillette uh, logo you can see just down here but there's no made in America made in England made in Canada nothing at all so that's quite interesting I'd still think it's made in America but it's just interesting it wasn't put on there and I'm still not feeling sparky about the loss of the sale of the shop all my teams are losing it's shocking so I'm just going to use a soap that I really like to make me to try and boost my spirits. And I can never pronounce this. Macaque, I think it's actually pronounced, but it's chiseled face of zoologist macaque. I just, I love the scent of it. A lot of you probably would not. But I just love the scent. I've got the perfume, but the perfume is a bit different to the scent in here they they brought in a new perfumer and, and did a new version of it i wish they didn't i love this scent it's absolutely magnificent and yeah i'm still going to use the spoiler blade so this will be its fourth shave okay i'll be back in a bit and we'll get on with the shave here we go magnificent just really nice stuff So I hope you all had a good weekend. Oh, shop story. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, finally we had good trade in the shop again. Well, average trade, which, which is okay. Average trade, you know, you know what you're getting and everyone's happy. So Brighton didn't play, which was a good thing because that meant they didn't lose. But the Crows, the Adelaide Crows had their first game of the season yesterday. And after not showing up in the first half, just barnstormed their way through the second half. Look at that lather, people. That's what you want. Barnstorm their way through the second half and then lost by a point. Absolutely gutted. It's not happening for me in sport at the moment. Righty eye. As you can see, I was using the Pantaray shaving brush. Let's get into it. So this is a thin cap too, if anyone's um, wondering. So it should be a pretty keen shave. Which is good, because I've got three day growth and I want it off. So 
So we had the state elections for the politicians, for a new premier, and we got a new premier. Whether you like it or not, that's just how democracy works. But at least you got a chance to have a say. So hopefully they'll start taking down their billboards that are around the place of all their faces and names and logos and catchphrases. There's got to be a better environmental way to go about that. Has to be. It'd just be good to get rid of their faces staring at you as you're driving down the road. So if you're interested, this razor is probably around 1920 when it was re released, around that time period. So it's pretty much 100 years old. Tell you one thing, I don't need to fill my face, but that's a great first pass. These, these are a very good razor. Just a really smooth and creamy leather. Now the scent strength here is just medium. It's, yeah, medium to light I'd say. It's not overpowering at all. It's stronger off the puck. Enough. That reminds me, we'll start the shop stories because there is another one. We'll go with the other one first. The area I'm in, there's a lot of nutters. You know, a lot of Salvation Army home type places. And... I was sitting in the shop yesterday, 
This is after the crows have lost. And I see that here the door open, I sort of catch a glimpse of this woman that she's gone again. So I, I knew straight away she's grabbed something and zipped off. So I ran out. And because I keep the hen section, the hen's night or bachelorette night for all you Americans night, um, novelty stuff near the front door. So all that stuff's cheap as chips. If it gets ripped off, it gets ripped off, you know. I lose a buck. Anyway, she grabs this feather boa and I'm thinking, and I run out and I call her up about because she's not too far. She turns around, gives me a mouthful, throws it on the ground. And I told her, don't come back. Just don't come back. She gave me another mouthful and I went inside. Then I heard some noise out the front and I raced back out again and she's taken, I've got a a flag it's attached to the window you just take it out take it in at night so she's pulled that down and thrown it on the ground so at that stage my patience is running thin so I told her to Phuket off But the main star attraction of the day, and this guy saved my bacon because it was a nice little sale. It's got a water pump plug. Not just your standard ordinary bump line. This thing's huge. It'd be about I don't know, less than a foot tall, so it's, uh, it must be at least 25 centimetres high, but it's like that round at the base, it's, it's serious emergency room stuff. Ways, I don't know, this solid rubber, it weighs well over a kg. I don't know where this guy was going to put it, but if he can put it there, well, he's got to see a doctor. I've actually sold quite a few of these over the years, but this one had been sitting there for, oh, it's probably been a good two, three years since I last sold one. Radio. I'll be back. Final pass. So I was thankful for him to come in because something like that's not cheap. I actually think I, I probably undermarked that. I just can't remember what they cost to wholesale. So I probably, 
probably could have marked it up again. Definitely for the serious enthusiast. <laughs> There's some surgeon somewhere sharing photos. <laughs> you should have seen what was in there. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, right, final pass. So that's the other thing we did on Saturday. We went to this place called Olympic Industries. So they make um, garages and sheds and and like rumpus rooms and granny flats and things like that. And because we, our original plan was to put a, a sh, like a a lined shed with a toilet and shower on our block down at Kingston. And then we found out we had to keep X amount of money in our super fund, so that cancelled that. But So we decided, well, why don't we forget about car garage and just go a small room sort of thing. And we walked in there and they got this one that's fantastic. So we've got a quote for that, so that's about 13,000 Australian dollars. A lot cheaper if you're an American with American dollars. Probably too small for a, a room there just to shave in. But it should do the job. Yeah, it's a little nick down there in the neck. Just the one. These are a really cool razor. They're keen, but but they're still mild. You don't really feel the blade at all, but you know the blade's getting a lot of contact. Hear that sign all the time, because we're on a main road, night and day. Same where I work, my shop's on a main road. Night and day that I'm in the shop. Sirens, 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 sirens. <coughs> then there's dudes and really loud motorbikes and really loud cars. And then there's people yelling and screaming and it's just like, it's doing my nutty and I want out. That's why this Kingston thing, that's where I want to go. It's so quiet. It's really quiet. It's so quiet that the, the silence is loud. Well, there we go. I'll wash up and we'll finish up. Well, once again, BBS. Beautiful shave. They're really good razors, those old Gillettes. You know, that probably up to 1930. You know, they're single rings and things like that. Just a ma really good shaves. I'll just... Give you one last peep inside the case. Just got my fingers there, so I don't want stuff, stuff falling out. Just beautiful case. There we are again. 
Lovely stuff. Well, this stuff, I just love it. As you know, one last sniff. I just enjoy the scent. I don't think, we can't buy the soap anymore, which is unfortunate. But if any more of the zoologist range comes on the market and in the soaps, I'll let you know. Expensive, but really nice stuff. All right. Just the normal favourite. Thistle and black pepper. Just a mild scent, it's not overpowering at all. Alright, so that's my shave. Thanks for hanging around, having a chat, seeing. Looking at me, seeing what a, a loser football supporter I am. God, there's got to be a win somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, I've got to run. I hope you have a really good week. Uh, I'm boxing on Wednesday, as always. Um, can't remember what's in it. Probably, yeah, you'll find out. It'll be a surprise. And then back in on Friday. And might do a new soap. Got a few new razors, uh, sort of modern razors, so I might trot them out for a, a bit of a look. That might be an idea. Okay, enjoy your week, and thanks for everyone who stuck around and watched. Hit the like button and subscribe, please, and, if, and just a big thank you to all my subscribers out there. Okay, I'll chat to you all soon. Ciao for now.